Okay, gentlemen, another tank inspection. We're inside the tank. Um, internal floater with a fixed uh, external roof. No surprise. Center column. Not a very big tank. It's 47 and a half foot diameter. So, like I say, not a not a very big tank. Anyway, um, I'm in here because they want to look at the. Uh, it's a complete internal inspection, and of course, I'm up here on the top of the internal floating roof, looking at the condition and part of that is the roof seal both the fabric and the wear shoe and uh, I've got a UT guy working with me today no surprise and uh, he marks this big old gap <laughs> it's about four feet wide gentlemen and uh, what I wanted to show you is sometimes people get a little excited it does have a gap make no mistake but my flashlight barely fits through that. And only for about, oh, let's see. Let's say from here to here, so that's about 18 inches. I can put the tape measure to it for you guys. Um, okay, excuse me, 16, 17 inches. And, Although it looks real big when he measures it like this, that looks like an inch. But if you look straight down, if you look straight down, that's barely three quarters of an inch. In fact, I'd call it more like five eighths. Um, maybe three quarter right there at the very apex of the gap. But for most of it, it's significantly small or maybe closer to a half inch tapering down to, of course, zero. Um, there isn't a weld right here. Um, there is a, a seam in the wear shield, the wear plate. But uh, this is the kind of stuff, guys, that uh, if you're not paying attention to, guys will get real crazy about it. He, he marked six spots in here. The one I just showed you is both the widest width-wise and the biggest gap. Uh, the other ones are like this. Um, you know, if you, if you look at it from this angle, it looks like something, but when you look at it straight down, you realize, ah, that's not even a quarter inch gap. So, not, not that much to get excited about. And you guys know me, I get excited about a lot of funny stuff, but I don't get excited about stuff that doesn't require it. Um, here's something kind of interesting kind of a trend I'm seeing lately it's the uh, auto gauge tape well with no tape attached um, the fabric does have a couple of spots that have been pinched most likely um, during the original installation because they all match up with uh, hardware no surprise but the rest, considering this tank has been in service 20 years, here's another one of these gaps you got all excited about. And when you actually look, <laughs> no, there's actually not much of a gap. Um, the VOC guys might get a little wound up about it, but you couldn't fit a half inch rod down there. So, uh, and that's, that one was at a, a Gersey. There's the Gerstein weld right there, or the, not the Gerstein, the uh, vert. So, you know, if it, if it looks like that at a, at a vert, I'm not getting real excited about it. Um, the fabric seal at the, the rubber seal at the uh, ladder and gauge pole, of course, are toast. Um, there's another one of those pinch spots that match up with hardware, no surprise. Uh, I think I counted seven of them. Only picked at one of them just to make certain that's what it was. Uh, once again, though, they all match up with with hardware locations. But imagine, you know, the fabric was 
folded up out of the way so they could get to uh, the springs, either the horizontal or the vertical springs underneath, and had the fabric pushed or pulled up out of the way. And, you know, the <coughs> seal for the vacuum breaker looks like it's never been hardly used. But the center column, it's an API center column. Um, of course, it's worn out. No surprise there, big chunks missing. Um, anyway, just thought you guys might be interested in, you know, looking along. Um, we're on high legs, so luckily I wasn't the one that had to climb through that down to it and undo the uh, roof manway. It's kind of interesting design. It's the old design with uh, square treads turned on 45, so three quarter inch, four, three quarter inch square bar turned at a 45, and uh, an inch and a quarter torched hole every 24 inches. <laughs> yeah, quite the uh, quite the gauge pole. Anyway, thought you guys might get a kick out of that. Anyway. Thanks for coming along. Bye.